My name is uh, Jan van Laar. I'm Editor-in-Chief of uh, Rheumatology and with me is uh, Dr. Joachim uh, Listing from the uh, German Rheumatism Research uh, Center in Berlin, uh, Germany. Um, welcome, uh, Dr. Listing. Thank you. You've, uh, you've published a paper on the um, impact of biologic therapy on the functional status in patients with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. This was a, a meta-analysis and I would like to discuss this paper with you. So my first question uh, would be, can you tell us a little bit about you know, the, the, the rationale or the, the reason for, for uh, doing this um, analysis? Yes, we, we all know that uh, biologics uh, have changed uh, the quality of life of, mm -hmm. of, of patients with uh, rheumatoid arthritis and also of other uh, inflammatory rheumatic diseases. And um, I asked my uh, colleague, uh, uh, we, they should uh, do uh, uh, in collaboration with me uh, a meta-analysis of uh, randomized control trials mm -hmm. and to um, give an update on uh, on patient reported outcomes uh, of these new uh, drugs and we uh, focus on the on the most important uh, on a, an important patient reported outcome with this function capacity and this functional capacity is uh, measured by the HAG in nearly all randomized controlled trials. And then we said, okay, let us do an update and, and compare uh, the results of these trials uh, and summarize them mm -hmm. uh, to give an overview what, why, uh, about their impact on mm -hmm. uh, the improvement in function. Right. So can you briefly tell us about the, the methods that you um, used? Was this a kind of a straightforward uh, meta-analysis where you collected data from all these um, clinical trials in the, in the field? Can you, can you briefly touch on that? Yes, we, we, we concentrated first uh, on rheumatoid arthritis right. and, and, and then on randomized control trials right. uh, and double-blinded uh, randomized control trials, most of them placebo-controlled. And um, they should have a duration of at least uh, 12 weeks. Right. Uh, and uh, yes, and they, they need to have data on uh, hex scores. Mm -hmm. So what were the um, key findings from your meta-analysis? The uh, key findings is that um, patients uh, treated with biologics mm -hmm. uh, had um, improved clearly more in functional capacity than uh, patients treated with uh, uh, conventional DMATS or placebo. Right. Um, and there is um, some difference in, in patients with, uh, which are DMAT naive right. and patients who are uh, DMAT inadequate. Responders. Right. So that, that's, that's um, clearly shown in figure two in, yes. in the paper, which is actually quite interesting because it's a slightly um, unexpected finding. So, yes. so can you explain what, what was kind of unexpected here? Yes, uh, it was a little bit unexpected that the superiority of uh, TNF or of biologics yeah. uh, in uh, DMAP naive yeah. uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis patients. The severity was uh, li slightly lower right. than in DMAT inadequate, inadequate responders. Right. Uh, at, uh, but um, if you look at this figure too, mm. uh, then you see that uh, DMAT naive patients improved mm -hmm. uh, under biologics to a large amount, right. approximately nearly. Uh, by 0 0.9 mm -hmm. uh, in the hex score, mm -hmm. uh, if they were treated with biologics. Mm -hmm. And this improvement was lower mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, control groups, mm -hmm. but in these control groups, mm -hmm. the patients received an active treatment mm -hmm. with methotrexate uh, in, in most of them, uh, most of the cases. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in this case, we, they received also a, a new and active drug, mm -hmm. and also this new drug mm -hmm. was effective and improved functional capacity. Mm -hmm. And then the difference to the biologics mm -hmm. was a little bit smaller right. than in patients who had in their 
history already mm -hmm. the treatment with, say, methotrexate. Mm -hmm. They are uh, inadequate responders mm -hmm. uh, of methotrexate, and then uh, they are randomized to placebo or a biologic. Mm -hmm. And in these cases, in these patients, the superiority of the biologics was somehow higher. Right, right. Just so, so in, 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 you know, just in, in simple terms, the, 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 the kind of mean improvement in HAC was greatest in the naive patients, DMAR naive patients, yes. uh, but the difference between the biologics treated yes. and the control group was relatively small mm -hmm. when compared to the patient group who was um, DMARD had an in, in such, you know, insufficient response to yes. DMARD. So the yes. overall mean change in improvement in HAC was yes. smaller in this group, but the difference between the controls and the biologics group was uh, greater, right? That's yes. the, the, yes. the, the, yes. the yes. key finding yes. of this um, yes. analysis. Yes. Um, so that's, that's, that's um, I, I guess, a maybe not an expected finding, as yes. you explained, because yes. one group was uh, on methotrexate and continued on methotrexate and actually they had not had a good response to that and the other yes. group received methotrexate so they had a, a benefit from that as well. Yes. Now in the, um, the, uh, the studies that you analyzed, right, you, um, you looked at studies of different study duration, as you mentioned 12 weeks was the minimum and I believe the maximum was about a year. Yes. And did you find any difference in studies with a relatively short follow-up versus studies with a relatively long follow-up? Was that of influence in this result? No, we, uh, we did not find uh, a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, and not find a significant difference mm -hmm. uh, for the, uh, regarding the study duration. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yes, it's... it's um, some disadvantage of this meta-analysis, you only have aggregated data right. and not data on the patient level. Right. So uh, there's a little bit more noise mm -hmm. in it. And, mm -hmm. and so um, we did not find uh, a significant difference. Right, right. Now, I, I guess one of the limitations you could argue of your analysis is that um, this, the trials that were included in it uh, were mainly the registration trials that were done by pharmaceutical companies um, to obtain a license for the drug. So they were placebo controls, right? Yes, placebo yes. versus biological. And, and of course there is an um, ongoing debate whether um, you know, combination DMARs are yes. as effective as, as a biological. So I guess that we need further studies in the future okay. to, to repeat such analy uh, analysis with, with um, slightly different patient groups, right? Uh, yes, with, with yes, new yes, trials. I, yes, I agree. So, okay, well, I, I think that's, uh, that's a very interesting um, uh, observation and um, I highly encourage readers to, to read this uh, back in detail and I thank uh, Joachim for um, attending this interview. Thank you very much.